Hello world and welcome to my channel. This video is on the installation of uh, a DC to DC charger from King's, a uh, lithium battery and a, a little accessory pack with a voltmeter and a couple of ciggy plugs and a couple of USB outlets in a caravan. Hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Cheers. This is what I'm installing in the uh, caravan. It's a King's 25 amp DC to DC charger. Now there's two models you can get from King's. One's a 20 amp and one's a 25. But I want one with the solar choice. So I can put solar input into it. And, and the 25 amp is the only one that, that can do that. The uh, 20 amp doesn't. So there it is there, um, I've put a bit of plywood inside here, uh, this is the electrical area for this caravan and I can then see the lights and see if there's a, a fault in the system and that's all the cable here and you choose which one of the batteries you have. At the moment this one has got a brand new 125 amp hour AGM. I he was hoping it was a lithium, but it's only AGM. I'll leave that in there for the moment. He's also put in a new 240 volt charger in here. This is the battery box on the outside of the van. I've got to come in through here somehow. Yeah, there it is there, 120 amp hour AGM. Power inlet there. Um, so I am going to come into here with the, uh, the King's DC to DC charger. So, I've run two leads, one, this first one here is for the Anderson plug that goes up to the car, to the front, and the second one here is for a solar input, and I'll run that somewhere to the front. Um, for the solar. I've got to cover this in Cory yet. So I just dropped it down through in a hole that was there. Um, that was used by something else which wasn't wanted. So I reused the old hole. I've got to seal it up. Um, and take this one over somewhere to, to get a solar input. This is the manual that comes with it. And those there are the color coding so it depends on the battery type so white is calcium battery yellow is wet lead acid gel orange is AGM uh, gray is uh, lithium black the long black wire here that is a temperature sensor now you don't cut it never ever cut it if you don't want it don't use it blue is ignition wire well if you don't need that as well you don't need to use it um, brown is output to auxiliary battery black is common and neutral red is the input and the green is the solar so 
I choose the color of these so it said uh, blue the one I want is going to be I'll have to double check probably a lead acid but I might actually get rid of this and put a lithium in um, yeah, I might even do that, put a lithium battery in. Don't know why I put that one in, but yeah. So I'm going to connect up these now. Um, solder them and take two to the, through the battery, batteries over here. So I'll take them into there and um, yeah, and then I can uh, go to the front and uh, and do that it's so bloody hot today it is actually 38 degrees so I just put the aircon on here <laughs> in the camp in the caravan and I'm working in the aircon and um, do outside it's been 38 for weeks no rain but anyway at least it's gonna be cooler to connect yeah I'm using these um, fuse holders and um, they recommend a 50 amp fuse so I have a couple of them um, and that's the um, plug for the uh, front for the solar input so that'll be going on another later um, it's outside and it's bloody hot uh, so you've got a few of these, three of them in here, another one under there, so yeah I've got three of them all together to go in somewhere, and that's what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to put the fuses on and then everything's fused, it's fused up in the car and it's going to be fused here as well, double fused, everything is done safe, have to do it safe. Well, I've taped up the wires I didn't need. I made a T joint there for the uh, neutrals and made it easier to do. I didn't connect up the this one here because I don't want to. Don't need to at the moment um, because that's a, a battery temperature sensor. I put fuses on each line. 50 amp users in each one of those is there and then there's another one there and that's all the connection box there it's not a real good one but um, I upgraded the wiring to the battery it had a little tiny skinny cable so it's got 8 gauge there now and 8 gauge are here everything's done in 8 gauge solid joints and um, high link compression joints as well uh, all this, um, yeah, joints just going to put cable ties over this here put some cable ties over the hold it all down and then the next objective is to wire in a Kings accessory panel. Now, cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter, USBs. There's a couple of USBs there and a volt gauge. Don't know where I'm going to put it, but at the moment, down there is the easiest option I got. I'll also um, put it through a switch, I believe. That way I can turn it off. Uh, so it's not draining any current Yeah, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit of the cabling It's never been a real tidy area here, but I'll cable tie it and get it tidied up Haven't done the outside yet too bloody hot Especially 37 38 degree days and high humidity taking a lot out of me
man it up there it should be good I decided to put it down here that there is the um, heater living in North Queensland I doubt I've ever need it but um, could do when I go to Tassie or something like that I got an isolation switch or just a light switch here so the um, the gauge here the voltmeter doesn't run all the time on it can have it on and off so that cuts all the power out to all that so um, it would draw very little power but if I'm not using the van for a month it might flatten the battery so um, I decided to to just put an isolating switch in there looks neat so it's a two USBs Siggy plug and a Siggy plug and the voltmeter easy fit I'm just got to clean up the floor and everything vacuum it Well, this is the input for the solar. I can just plug any solar blanket into there without a regulator or double uh, solar blanket. Um, and the uh, DC DC charger acts as a regulator. This is the Anderson. This plugs into the car to charge the battery up and keeps the fridge running. So what I've done is I upgraded the lith the um, AGM that was in here and bought a 120 amp hour lithium from Kings. It came with the accessory pack. I took it in through the uh, gland here, the compression gland, um, where the old cable came through. I've just got it's sealed up, but I'll probably add a bit of silicon there. Just got to strap it in. It's got two straps: one to go around here, and one to go around there, and strap it in with this strap hold it back 120 amp hour lithium should last a while just running a few lights and and uh, the fridge well thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe and give me a thumbs up cheers